Steve here, Concierge Health Advisor. Whoa. <laughs> uh, autoimmune disease series continued. Another part. Um, I've indicated covering two autoimmune diseases on each go. And today's go. Who gets a goody today? Um, lupus. And. What was I going to cover? Was I going to cover. Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease? Right, those two. Okay, so lupus. I've covered uh, lupus in another video with uh, Selena Gomez as the, um, I don't know, uh, guinea pig. Because uh, there's, um, there's a Google article indicated uh, that she's got lupus. And um, so basically, uh, lupus as an autoimmune disease. No, no, it's not our genes. It's not faulty genes or this gene expression, that gene expression, lifestyle choices, uh, toxic um, chemical exposure, toxin exposure in general, um, a telltale for lupus and the whole autoimmune disease complex for that matter is gluten sensitivity. Yes, yeah, so I'm afraid it's uh, gluten sensitivities. Uh, all these diseases happen in different ways and they are particularly um, particularly happening with uh, nutrient deficiencies, Raj. With lupus, you pretty much are uh, the, the, the key markers. There's a bit of sun action happening. Well, I'm not here for, uh, for prejudice, I'm here for content. Oh, that health content. Yeah, so for lupus, the, um, the markers that uh, most lupus sufferers uh, will um, be a telltale sign for is nutrient deficiency, particularly in selenium and sulfur. Um, they might be getting enough um, selenium and sulfur, but, but here's the, the big but and the catch and the, the, the caveat is that uh, you may not be absorbing uh, those two particular minerals. And it also may not be those particular minerals in themselves. Um, they're just the main markers. But you probably need those two to uh, enable other minerals, other micronutrients to work synergistically uh, in the systems of the body, okay? So that's uh, lupus. And uh, selenium gets another Guernsey and Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, also, selenium deficiency. Uh, Lou Gehrig's is another manifestation uh, which happens from not absorbing all the micronutrients that we require, particularly the minerals, to, uh, to not have the particular uh, autoimmune disease of your unluckiness you it's not genes it's not toxins it's not pollu pollution pollution it's pretty much a toxin um, lifestyle choice lifestyle choice is uh, wise it's um, having uh, these four particular yes the sun action is happening again um, those four particular uh, categories of food which I always say we must cease because that will increase our efficacy of um, our ability to absorb the micronutrients that we require the whole you know 60 plus minerals 16 vitamins 12 essential amino acids and two essential fatty acids right so we need to cease gluten all gluten wheat barley rye and oats Google only wants to say wheat, barley and rye, but it's also oats, right? So the uh, pro-inflammatory uh, cytokine in oats is called gliadin, but it's still a gluten, okay? Um, these four grains um, produce this uh, contact enteritis in the small villi and uh, it um, drip, 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 year after year, decade after decade, and that's why uh, after the age of 40, 50, we age faster and wrinklier and greyer and then we die at 75 instead of 105 or 125. Um, 
if we understood, if we understood um, the essentials of um, the absorption of the micronutrients that I always talk about, then we've got a chance, a greater chance, a much greater chance of um, being centenarians. And even octogenarians, uh, if you're going to die in your uh, late 60s from this and that autoimmune disease, perhaps. So that's the lot of today's chat on autoimmune disease with lupus and Lou Gehrig's disease, right? So it's the same sort of theme. Um, that's only one category of food I mentioned was the gluten. Oils, not just any old oil, but all oils in a bottle. Burnt animal fat and fried food must be gone. Um, oils are the cause of our uh, cardiovascular system uh, issue complex um, health concerns. It's not saturated fat. Saturated fat is essential to our health. We're blaming the wrong villain. Oils must be gone in, in those three sorts, right? Also sugars, the refined sugars, and not too much. Don't try not to eat too much fruit. Yes, fructose. Fructose, uh, also quite toxic uh, on the body with the whole um, inflammatory side of things. And um, the, the combination of oils and sugars gives us our scary cholesterol numbers. Not cholesterol in itself. Right, so we need to understand that too. I'm just looking at the clock. I don't want to go too too long. I, when I go over ten minutes, it starts to go into. Oh, it's already a rant to some people, but uh, yeah. So um, that's the story on um, the gluten, oils, and sugar, and the final category of food we need to eliminate. Eliminate is the nitrates. Nitrites, mainly from the processed uh, meats complex, the whole bacon, ham, salami, pastrami, corned beef, spam, yada yada, you know. Um, also found in other sources, but not as much as the processed meats. Those processed meats with the nitrates, nitrites are the new granddaddy carcinogen in town, not the, not the smoking and the and the obesity, uh, obesity, that's another matter. I've covered obesity in many other videos too. And my uh, 150 or so episodes of um, in, in the podcast series. Also in the show notes, so. There you go, that's uh, lupus and Lou Gehrig's today. But a few little insights with other things that I usually throw in. How my brain just goes, <laughs> Anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye.